Yes, you heard it right. Recently, I got a chance to meet a CSIR net paper setter. Not the current one, but he used to set papers for CSIR net two, three years ago. So because he is bound by his agreement with CSIR HRDG, so obviously I cannot take his name and I cannot um, share you exact credentials, but yeah, he used to set papers three years ago and uh, he gave me broad ideas about what exactly goes in the mind of a paper setter and what kind of instructions they receive. So I'm going to summarize that for you. Now to start with, um, the instructions will be very clear from the HRDG that they want scientists who can apply the concepts, not those who just mug up and try to mark questions. So basically more focus of the paper setter will be on applied questions, of course, but then they try to complicate it further and there are ratios in which how they can complicate so that uh, some questions will be kept as simple, some questions will be kept as hard as well as some questions will be moderate and they have a weighted scheme so that because they have afternoon and morning sessions so uh, the morning will be, a, it's not that the morning should be, become easier and the afternoon should be uh, tougher so instead the, what they do is they uh, try to keep the you know difficulty level the same and uh, how do they do that? So a few Years ago also we had published an article so uh, I'm combining the knowledge which we already have about with observation and whatever interaction we had. So what he said is they will combine concepts, they will combine units, they will combine question formats and then they will combine it with mathematics, physics and chemistry concepts and then they will have more research paper oriented questions and they are told to do that, that research paper oriented questions should be there. Then they will ask you, they will, uh, they are told to create questions for experimental result based analysis, data analysis. Then there will be, you know, um, assertion reasoning kind of questions, logical questions, and they are told to deliberately create trap questions. So these are the things which I had interaction and I have written the notes also regarding that. So uh, overall, when I was speaking to him, he was pretty much confident that uh, the level of questions they are developing if a student is able to solve then he will be able to work in a lab in a sophisticated environment so when i said that okay but um, the lecturership requires a lower score and rgrf requires a higher score and uh, so how does this work so he said that see the jrf students are going to get the money right so the government wants a value for money. If the person is going to do research, he should do quality research. So he should have the quality concepts. So that is where he was very much clear. And I, then I asked how many questions you were setting. He said that every paper setter was, you know, setting more than uh, 50 questions. And there are many qu paper setters across India and uh, they don't know which question will get selected. They will send the questions and uh, probably there are 50 plus question paper setters. They will send the questions, whichever gets selected will be asked in the question and again they don't know which one will be asked or which one will not be asked. So uh, based on the interaction which I had, he told me that transplantation, mutational phenotype based questions will be there, arranging, ordering questions will be there, numerical type questions obviously we have seen, then match the following questions uh, they are asked to design, then they are asked to design experimental result analysis based questions and techniques based questions, then they are asked to design questions based on graphs and data. Then they are asked to design questions based on pathways and then there will be concept based questions obviously that is part B and then formula based questions will be there and then uh, correct and inter incorrect assertion reason type of questions. So all these type of questions will be there. So finally I asked okay um, so if I have to go back to my students and train them on these questions what should be my strategy? So he laughed and he said see the strategy is in front of you you have the question paper of last 10 years but it is not necessary that we are going to set questions based on the last 10 years. So what you are seeing is history. What will happen in the future will be the type of questions may remain the same, but the style of asking questions may not be the same. Okay. So, okay. That's a lesson which I learned and that is how now in our Lakshya batch and our upcoming batches, we are going to implement all of these strategies which we have learned. Of course, not everything I have told you. Some of the exclusive strategies I'm keeping for my Lakshya students and enrolled students of Biotechnica. So uh, we are going to implement all of these lessons in our uh, you know, upcoming batches. And if you want to be a part of Lakshya batch, 15th of February, we are starting this batch. Please enroll. And there is a 80% discount also there. 
So now it becomes very much affordable. Six months coaching, you're getting in 7,200 and 12 months coaching in just 9,100. So what are you waiting for? Enroll in our coaching and then we will train you on all these 10 type of questions which I told you plus many more questions. It is not just phenotype or mutational types questions or transplantation based questions or not just the match with the following or mathematical or uh, physics or chemistry based questions. The, like, he, like he said, the style will change, the type may not change and the weightage varies based on how many tough questions they got from different paper setters. So yeah, it's going to be a interesting game next time when you write say sanet but if you have biotechnica's missile batch which is the luxury batch by your side then i'm confident that you are going to make it so these were my uh, interactions with the uh, paper setter whom i met here in bangalore so keep, stay tuned with biotechnica because we may come up with more uh, interactions if we have in the future more in insights and subscribe to us and do not forget to join the luxury batch take care bye bye